Why, hello there, people. Welcome. What's up, guys? D628 here. Welcome to week 15 of physique update. I'm going to talk to you guys so you guys can see me, but uh, we are going to do a physique update. We do this every Sunday. If you haven't been around, um, trying to improve this and be healthier, which we are. So, okay, let's get with it. So, this is the shirt update, same shirt for weeks now. Not pushing in, not, this is full push out. And then it is later in the day I have eaten and all that stuff. Um, back, side, no push out, like just regular uh, things like that, okay? Uh, with like sucking in, trying to make myself look as good as possible. This is what we're looking at. Just fully sucking in, you know, all that. Okay, um, this is with flex, with the shirt, flex there. Oh, let me do a back flex, I didn't do that with this one. Even though the shirt doesn't really matter. Okay, but this is just how to fit in the shirt. Okay, no shirt. This is without sucking in or pushing out. On all sides. This is with pushing out all the way as much as I can. And again, this is like after with eating, it's about 3 p.m. Yeah, 2.30 p.m. Um, double chin. Okay, and then, um, okay, so full physique update. So chest. That's the chest, uh, like traps. We got like another yeah, we got a bigger indentation going on in the traps. There's like another line there. You see that right there? There's like a, that I haven't noticed before. That's new, but like, you know, standing straight like this traps. That's like my favorite part of like a look. So I'm, I'm happy with the progress there, but yeah, it looks like there's some kind of indentation there. I don't know. Um, like shoulder, I don't really know how to flex shoulders, but like, um, like that, like, I guess like I can feel more definition on shoulders and stuff. Um, whatever, um, arms, one arm, two arms, triceps, triglycerides, uh, chest. Yeah, there's that. Uh, like if we do abs, like push out, full push in, you can see like the little movement in there, you know, um, there's that, um, what else is there in the front? Oh, full, like full front. Okay. This is a thumbnail time. Okay. That's thumbnail. And then we have side pushing in, you see the chest, the back, um, and the, yeah, full back, full back without arms up, okay, and then side left with the uh, triceps. Sorry about like, focusing and all that. Um, that's that. Forearms. We have some more, I feel like, definition right here. There's like a new muscle that's coming out right here. <laughs> like, I haven't really like noticed that one out. But like, you can see, it used to be just like a line right here. But now there's like a slow line forming here. And you can like feel it um, forming right there. So... That's that, and then, yeah, that's, I guess I should have done the waviness as well, but that's the waviness without flexing, with flexing. Um, anyways, body shake, <laughs> okay. So now we're gonna get down to the numbers and all that. All right, that is the physique update. Now we're gonna get into the uh, numbers and some new little changes that we're gonna be seeing in the video here uh, every week. So, starting with the weight, let's just get that out of the way. Great week. Um, we ended up at 
263.7 pounds. So uh, that is our official weight of the week, as you can see in that video there. Uh, this is going to be the last week we use that skill. We do have a new skill that we're going to be using because this one's like inconsistent. This Weight Watchers one that we use, but these are this one breaks down. So we were at a deficit of 9,733 uh, calories this week. Uh, that should have uh, that should have equal to 2.78 pounds of fat. From 267 to 263.7, it was 3.3 pounds. But if you recall last week, if you watched last week's update, um, I always I mentioned that I wasn't 267 for real. I just didn't have good uh, I didn't have a good dump, so my weight was just kind of a little bit north than what it should have been. The next day after I weighed myself, so after the Sunday day of these numbers here, we weighed ourselves on Monday morning and we were 250, or sorry, 265.9. So with those numbers, that would have been a 2.2 pound difference. And if we, normally we lose about 0.3 to 0.7 pounds a day, that's kind of like where it's at. That would make sense that it's at 2.78. So. It's really nice to, again, that looking at these numbers and really seeing exactly how it all works, that I'm not having any issues with like hyperthyroidism or any kind of faults or anything like that, that will be like, oh, well, I can't lose weight because of this, right? So I, I recommend anyone, and I, I did have that uh, mentality back then, uh, like two years ago when I was trying to lose weight, I you know hit a blockade. And, you know, it's like, I'm not measuring what the hell I'm doing. Like, I see my number going down, but like, how much am I actually eating? How much am I actually losing? And really looking at the science behind it all, like, and then you just kind of give up because you're like, oh, well, I can't lose weight, right? So anyone that has any kind of issues of losing weight, do this for like a month. Just be so adamant about putting exactly what you eat. Uh, you can use my fitness pal. you can use any of the other ones, right? That's another change that we have. I am not using my fitness pal anymore. I am currently using chronometer uh, because it's a lot better to use, easier to use, cheaper if you pay for the uh, subscription, but free if you want the free one. You can scan food if you if you have the free one. It gives you your micronutrients as well and you can share recipes if you have gold. It's such a better option than my fitness pal. So I have switched to chronometer. I would advise you do the same if you use chronometer. Uh, so that's one new difference that we've been using for about like six, four or five days now. Um, but like, that's all you like, if you're having kind of issues losing weight or anything like that, like do it, D just write down, you know, get an app, put down absolutely everything you put into your mouth and weigh yourself every single morning consistently. Like if you're going to wear a certain thing, wear that every single week. If you're not going to wear anything, don't wear anything. Be consistent, have every control that you can be the same. That way, like try to do it around the same time after the bathroom, after, you know, all that stuff. Like don't eat out super late that previous day because that might throw it off, right? Be consistent for like three weeks, a month, somewhere around there and really see, okay, like if, if your numbers aren't dropping after doing some kind of diet or anything like that, then go to a doctor like that. 100% you should do that because that way you probably have something, some kind of um, either you're malnutrition, like you're malnutritious in something where your body's just not doing what it should be doing. Either, you know, hyperthyroidism is a big one. Your uh, hormones can be out of whack, like then go check some. But don't be like me who would always be like, oh, well, blah, blah, blah. like don't put bullshit excuses on it. Just do it for a month see the results that you get. If they're not good or not according to the science of how it should break down, then go to your doctor. But if everything is fine, then just keep adamant about it and just keep losing weight if that's your goal, right? Um, but anyways, so number's good. You know, that's what our weight was. So yes, next week we're going to be using a new uh, uh, a scale, a new scale, and we will be talking about that later. Uh, we'll talk about it next week. And then one new thing that we're gonna go over as well with numbers is every first Sunday of every month, so this is the first Sunday of February, we're gonna start doing in-body scans. So uh, I get these at the gym. Uh, I just like upgraded my thing at the gym, so I get these unlimited per month. 
and uh, I'll have it on the screen right there. But um, we're not going to go like too much into it. I'll just kind of put it on there. We'll just kind of touch on it. Uh, the biggest reason I'm doing this is, uh, you know, it's not 100% accurate. Uh, of course, you know, like this is just something that we can kind of go over and uh, discuss, you know, more information better, you know, just to kind of see the results that you're getting. But um, one thing I noticed that's pretty different is the BMR. BMR on this one is 2002. And on like my Google Sheets and BMR, BMR calculator and all that stuff, it shows about 2200. So BMR is slightly different from like in body and also from chronometer as well. Chronometer is more similar to the in body one. So uh, that is slightly different. So other than that, that's pretty much the only updates that we have. We had a good week. Uh, next week's goal will be 261 and a half is what we'll do next week. And um, yeah, that's, that's the only thing. We'll go over the scale that we're using next week. You'll see it in the video. It'll be a different one. We just got it in today. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for joining on this week's update. If you guys liked it, hit the like button down. So thank you guys for joining on this week's update. If you guys liked it, hit the like button down below. If you want to see more and want to join me or anything like that, hit the subscribe button down below. And yeah, you guys have a wonderful and beautiful day. DSEC 2 waits out.